Hi everyone and welcome to my channel ICT Active Learners. Today I am here to present Cambridge IGCSE ICT 2024 Paper 2 1 Document Production Part. So, in this part of the question paper, it begins with the source files. You have been supplied with the following source files. So, I have all these source files. I need to prepare first my evidence document. It should have my name, center number and candidate number. And I should save it with the name evidence and then my candidate number. So, here is the evidence file. Click on save as and we will call it evidence. And my candidate number for example, 1, 2, 3, 4. And here is this how to save it as a word document click on save now i'm going to include a header this header should have my name my candidate number and my center number for example this is my center number close save and let's follow the next step you are going to edit a document for tawara tots child care the company uses a corporate house style for their documents paragraph style must be created and applied as instructed so we need to open the file using a suitable software package to examine it first so this is what we have now we need to check if the page setup is a4 orientation portrait two centimeter margin from all the sides so just click on layout page setup so this is two centimeter from all the sides portrait and paper size is a4 so we should not make any changes to it as they instructed here do not make any changes then three paragraph style has already been created do not make any changes to do to these unless instructed so we need to save the document with the name nursery we just copy this one and save this document as A word document with the name nursery into the same folder and then we will take a screenshot that where we have saved this file so it is already been saved over here and we will go to our evidence document and this is gonna be our evidence one next step is to start formatting it now place in the nursery document a write a line header on a single line prospectus produced by followed by space then your name center number and candidate number it should be in the header right side so we will include here a header and on the right side we will just mention here as they said prospectus produced by prospectus produced by in space your name then your center number and candidate number this is my center number and then my candidate number nothing else to be presented over here close follow the next step we need to have a left align footer with automated page number so insert a footer now on the left side with the page number current position 
and this is the one remove the rest of the placeholders close and then what did they mention here make sure that all the added details are on the single lines all the element meet, match the page margins no other text should be included in header and footer and header and footer displayed on every page so we will just cross check these ones yeah this is done just click on save and let's follow the next step create and store the following style basing it on the default normal paragraph style so gc title we are going to create now so we'll just simply click here first and then we will just go to create a style with the name tc title modify based on normal and here we will just simply choose normal and default so you can just say no style and then after it should be serif font means uh, times new roman then it should be 32 points font size is 32 which is not available so you can just simply type 32 then they ask you it should be center aligned it should be bold and italic then line spacing should be single line spacing single and then it should be before spacing 0 after spacing 6 done okay a style is created take a screenshot to show that you have defined the style so right click modify and this is what you have defined the style place this one into your evidence document as evidence for step number three and then follow the next step yes it says that apply the tc title style to the text tawara tots child care so just go to the top and select this one and just apply the style to it and then select the subheading staff and the following text up to and including the paragraph ending enjoy their new surroundings so staff onward enjoy their new surroundings till this point select and then after change the page layout so that only this text is displayed in two columns of equal width with the one centimeter space between the columns layout columns more columns two and with a space of one centimeter between that's it moving forward to the next step the style name tc subhead has already been created stored and applied to the five subheadings now you need to modify the tc subheading style so we will just simply uh, click over here and we will go to home tc subheading style is already here subhead right click modify and make some changes as we mentioned sans serif font so arial is the best example for sans serif it should be 14 in font size center align italic bold italic bold and capitalize so font all caps and then single line spacing paragraph line spacing single before space 0 after space 7 that's it okay okay now you will find some subheading now it look like this now the next step is to take screenshot that the changes you have made to your heading style so modify 
take the screenshot of this one as well that you have modified this style now this is going to be your evidence for step number six and now step number seven is to apply a number list formatted as one to seven to the text from communication and language to art and design so here is the list should be number from one to seven so for example i select this one one to seven and then make sure the number and the align to the margin of the column so select this one and now you can just simply move this one like this yeah and then after it says the list is in single line spacing with no spacing before and after so right click now we have an option called paragraph and line spacing before and after zero and sorry uh, line spacing should be single as they said and no before and after line okay this is done but it did does mention that there is seven point space after the last list so just click here right click and paragraph so after you just write here seven so there will be a space between these two points now the next step is to import the image g2421 logo and place it in the paragraph beginning we have a spacious playrooms so the beginning of the paragraph we have spacious uh, rooms so we need to look for it actually the paragraph yeah this is the one and we need to put the text to the right margin and top of the paragraph starting so for example i will just click here and i will insert a picture desktop june 24 this is the picture yeah and now i need to rotate this on 180 degree so rotate 180 degree so more options just mention here 180 degrees so this is how it will look like and then it should be text wrap around okay so wrapping option text wrap square and now i should take this paragraph to the right side and this picture to the right of the paragraph just like that that's it and then locate the table in the document format the table so that so we need to locate the table now the table width is set to 13 centimeter so just go there click on table and then after you right click go to table properties and then we have the table width it's gonna be 13 all the rows are set to one centimeter high okay and then we need to have the row height then so we have an option here about the row height so we just need to right click and then we need to go to the table properties the row height is set to uh, one centimeter high okay and then after this table is center aligned vertically in each row the data center aligned vertically in each row so is this all selected now go to the layout and vertical alignment the data should be in center and then the table is center aligned with the page margin now you just go back and center align the table in the page margins 
and then after you have to spell check and proofread the document so just simply review spell check and document so this should be ignore years uh, you can even change this one but that's fine even Tawara we should ignore yeah ignore okay, the spell check is completed and then after you need to check all this there is no blank pages there is no widows and orphans there is no any other kind of uh, uh, disturbance in the document like the styles are not properly applied so this is done this is what we have with the document part of this question paper so hope you have learned about how to arrange your document while using microsoft word so thanks for watching and please subscribe the channel for more videos and updates